Hey, what's up, what's happening? It's K. Hey, we back in the stand. K. Two better slip with cut out Patron on the tunnel. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna turn them motherfuckers off. I'm gonna kick back, relax, put my feet up, go into some shit. But I'm like, you know what? I said I didn't really need to talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it, especially now that they're saying Dirk kind of broke his silence on the situation. So fuck it, let's have a little conversation about it. So we here to talk. Now I heard this story a while ago. Apparently, um, Lil Dirk's kid, you know, um. Uh, the kid's mom and stepdad or the mom's boyfriend, I don't exactly know. Um, they was having a little domestic violence situation. The kid got a gun from someone and he shot his ex. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I respect little man standing up from his mama. His mama could have been on doing some shit. We don't know. But from my video, hey, Brody was tweaking a little bit. He did say he did want to say his piece. He said his piece, which we're also going to talk about as well. I'm not just going to say I believe the woman in the situation. But I ain't mad at little homie, like, not letting Brody disrespect his mama and hitting his ass. I ain't saying. Kids should be shooting weapons at adults and potentially could have took his life. I'm not saying that and I'm not condoning that behavior. But like you was holding down your mama. I can never be mad at you for holding down your parent and someone you love. I can never be mad at you for doing this shit. So we're going to sit here and talk about it now. And then also, what would you say? Because at the same time, it's like, yeah, I don't want my kid doing that. But at the same time, like, I'm a little bit proud of his ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was holding me down. Again, I'm not condoning taking somebody's life or just shooting people randomly. But like, yeah, it touched my heart. He seen I was in a situation. You know? Brody was pushing up on me. I didn't like that. We was fighting and shit. And he like, bow, you ain't going to do that to my mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm the parent of him, you know what I'm It touched my heart a little bit. I ain't going to lie. I told him, oh, you got me like that, son, son. Shit, I knew you was my little man. Yeah, you my little man. You the man of the house. You my little, hey, you my. You know what I'm saying? It touched my heart a little bit. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. But anyways, let's talk about it real quick. So Lil Dirk breaks silence after son is accused of shooting a Listen, we seen the video. We knew what it was. I ain't going to lie. Also, bro, if the kid did not shoot your ass, bro, you a sucker. How you blaming that on the kid? Come on now. Anyways, if y'all want to see that video in the footage, hey, listen, go look somewhere else. I ain't putting that in here. You know what I'm saying? Go look somewhere else. And you could come back or finish this video. Actually, finish the video and like and subscribe. Then go see the original footage. And then if you want to hear my thoughts again, hey, come back and watch the video again. Write a little comment, you know. You know, have a little discussion, a discourse, you know what I'm saying? We ain't need no discord to have a little discourse, you know what I mean? But anyways, let's talk real quick. So, Lil Dirk's 10-year-old son, I'm not even going to say names, by the way. So, his 10-year-old son allegedly shot his stepdad. During a domestic violence dispute involving the child's mother, footage that surfaced online allegedly captured the moment when the child grabbed the weapon from his stepfather. Oh, wait, this was your weapon? Oh, no. Hey, big dog, this ain't look nah, big dog. Big dog, this ain't looking good for you. I ain't gonna he, he did what he was supposed to. I'm sorry. This was your weapon. I thought like mama had it in the crib. Like, nah, this was your shit. Again, I'm not saying you was gonna shoot the woman, but you could have did some fuck shit, okay? So now he's kinda he a little valid for that. He seen tensions rising and he took away a weapon of mass destruction. You know what I'm saying? That could have affected the fam the family for years. I ain't mad at the little man. Joshua Pippins, um, So, so, took the, sorry, took the weapon from his stepfather, Joshua Pippins, and fired. The altercation showed in the video displays the intense scene that unfolded. Pippins has already addressed the shooting from the hospital bed, defending his actions and providing additional context of what led up to that moment. Let's dig into what we know so far about the shooting. Caught on cameras, the child dressed in a red shirt and shorts allegedly took the weapon from Pippins, who was dressed in orange, and then aimed and fired the weapon. In the video, Pippins attempted to restrain the child's mother in purple, but as the altercation continues in the streets, the child points the weapon and uh, a single gunshot is heard. Then Pippins falls to the ground. Joshua Pippins has spoken out from his hospital bed. Asserting that he was not the aggressor in the situation, he claimed that the young boy acted under the influence of his mother. As y'all can see, I was not the aggressor. Pippin stated on social media, he explained that the child grabbed the gun from his hip following his mother's deed. I will say, if this happened in Chicago, I understand why you have a weapon on. I ain't gonna lie. But anyways. Despite the incident, Pippins expressed his continued love for the child, lamenting that the boy was only acting based on his mom. Yeah, he's, he's trying to hold his mama down. And he a young kid, you don't know exactly what's going on. He just sees somebody being physical with his mommy, like, oh, hell no. Nah. Now, again, 
I can't really blame the kid here. I'm not going to blame the kid here. Now, the mama, I don't know how exactly the argument started or what led to this shit happening in the streets. But you got to take some blame. Your child shot your the stepfather, your husband. You have to take some side of blame. Yeah, he might have been tweaking. But you have to take some blame. Like, this is crazy as hell. Pippin's in, in that the confrontation might have stemmed from a custody dispute over a child the couple shares. He defended his position, stating, that's why I got custody of my kids and she don't. He suggested that if there were any legal repercussions, they would have already been addressed, emphasizing that his actions were motivated by a desire to protect his rights over his kids. So Lil Dirk says this on social media. He says, save that money for them kids, 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 kids. I don't know if that's a lyric in one of his songs. It's probably a lyric in one of his songs. I ain't gonna lie. But hey, he tweeted it at this time. People was like, oh, this connects to this little situation. Rapper Lil Dirk, who is the father of seven children, has not directly issued a comment on the mother however on july 8th he did share a brief post on twitter slash x that many have hinted that his album is on the way save that money for the kids 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 also nigga little dirt what the fuck is love songs from the streets for you've been teasing that motherfucker for so long. i don't know if it got scrapped i don't know what's going on but hey gang you said you went hollywood for a year what was the album i don't know if because the last album didn't perform as well they label like a hey, big dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. But I saw he had all my life on that album and it won a Grammy, right? So yeah, he, he he should be good. Should be good to drop some shit. And his buzz has not diminished. But yeah, it's a crazy situation this was. Now again, it depends how you also interpret the video. I'm not gonna sit here and say Brody was the aggressor. He did grab Shorty. It was having a little argument, whatever. So I could understand the kid being like, what the fuck? Now, him saying that the mom directed the kid to do that, I'm not going to say, yeah. say that or whatever. But we did see, like, I know they said allegedly shot him. We did see the kid grab the thing. You know what I'm saying? But you could go watch the video and see exactly what happens and state what you got to say. But yeah, this could be cryptic, but it is. Whatever Dirk tweets, they will say it's cryptic because he's the father of the child. With that being said, literally, like, bro, we really need to hear from the mother what the fuck was they doing. Also, if that couple has kids that is biologically theirs, like, their kids, not like a stepfather situation or a stepmother situation, it does say something that if he has majority custody of y'all kids together, it does say something. And then also... He's not then uh, the stepfather then, because if that's the case, they are divorced or they're going through divorce or they could just be legally separated. I don't fucking know. But yeah, man, we'll see exactly what happened with this little situation. But yeah, it's just very confusing at this point. Like, hey, listen, hey, men, you know, you might see a girl she bad as hell. If her baby daddy is like Lil Dirk, Kevin, get certain ilk of niggas, bro. If it's a street nigga. You got to know there's probably a weapon in the house. And I would not be surprised if they... Not that he teaching his kids, but at some point, his ki their kids will not know their way around the weapon. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, again, the kid is 10. <laughs> it was a crazy situation. That recoil might have hurt his ass. I ain't going to lie. 10? He just up that motherfucker. But with that being said, bro, y'all can't do certain stuff. Also, if y'all just because y'all step parents now, yes, everybody deserves respect. But if you just then you tell a, a, a kid what to do hey, in every situation, it don't, it don't go like that. I've been around countless situations where the stepdaddy was trying to regulate a kid that's not theirs and hey, the stepchild had to teach him a, a, a lesson here and there. So we'll see exactly what happens with this stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thankful he's alive though. I'm thankful he's alive. That's really all I gotta say. But if there's any more information, like, we got to hear the mama side. Like, I what was really going on. How the fuck did this shit start? Like, that's really what I need to understand. And I'm not going to sit here and just verbatim what he said be like, oh, the mom told the kid to do it, so the kid did it. Like, I'm, I don't know. I would have to be there in that situation to really sit there and be like, oh, nah, he telling exactly the truth. But, yeah. What do y'all feel about this situation? Comments down below. Links in the description. Besides all that, your friendly neighborhood K.A. Sign out for today. The Black TJ there while I'm doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe. You're trying to hit a little bit more. You're a minute. I'm gone. Shalom. Zoom. Peace. Shalom. Aye.